Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we're going to be talking about five shocking meals from the 1950s that we no longer eat. Now, if you guys haven't checked out my other two 50s fun fact videos, I'm going to link them down below. So make sure you go check them out. But in this video, we're going to be talking about meals that are outdated, strange, and some that kind of sound delicious and wish they were still around today. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first shocking meal on the list is called a green bean pizzerino. And I'm going to explain what that is with my notes. So green bean pizzerino involves a big ring of meat that has been seasoned with artificial pizza flavoring and catsup. This is draped with American cheese, salami slices, and is filled in the middle with cooked green beans. Now I don't know about you, but that <laughs> kind of doesn't sound all that great. You kind of lost me at the artificial pizza flavoring. But I don't know. Maybe I should do a video trying all this stuff. Should I do it? If you guys think I should try the meals that I'm going to be talking about today, comment down below. Now the green bean pizzerino was often prepared for evening events like dinner parties, um, just people coming over, whether it's family, friends, business people. It was often made because it was very presentable. In the 50s, they would love to make really, really presentable looking food. So this was like in the shape of a ring and it had the green in the middle and it looked very fancy. Um, so that was what they used it for. Now the second one on the list is the Jello Mold Meals. Now I've already mentioned this a little bit in the Christmas tradition video because they often would bring it to Christmas parties, but the Jello Mold Meals were year round. Now I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking, that sounds amazing. We get lime jello for lunch or we get watermelon jello for lunch or dinner, but no. Let me read to you the kind of stuff that they would make with the jello. <laughs> they would make jello veggie salad, jello shrimp salad, Jello chili, Jello tomato refreshers, Jello tuna, lime and cheese Jello salad, and more strange, savory flavors like that. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure there's a small percentage of the population that still eats Jello molds to this day due to like family tradition and stuff. So if you're one of those and you're watching this video and you're slightly offended that I hate Jello molds, <laughs> make sure you comment your awesome recipes down below in the comment section. Or if you want to make it more private, comment them in my DMs and I won't expose them, but I would love to try them because I have tried authentic 1950s Jello molds from the uh, 50s cookbook that I have and it was a horrible nightmare and I just want to try a good one to see what the hype is all about. So. Yeah. So number three on the list is vitamin bread. Now vitamin bread sounds normal because bread comes with vitamins on its own naturally. But back in the 50s, they would manufacture the bread in a way to serve as a multivitamin. And what they would do in that process is like extract the vitamins out and then they would put it back in and then add more and like just scientifically remake the bread to serve as a multivitamin. And the brand that was commonly known for serving and advertising um, vitamin bread was Wonder Bread. A sandwich daily and two slices of Wonder Bread every meal give you eight elements you need. As much muscle building protein as roast beef, as much calcium for bones and teeth as cottage cheese, as much phosphorus for cell metabolism as this egg, as much iron for red blood as three lamb chops, as much vitamin B1 for appetite as fried liver, as much vitamin B2 for growth as this much cheese as much niacin for mental health as six sardines, as much energy as two glasses of milk. That's why you can help yourself grow bigger and stronger eight ways with Wonder Bread. I mean grow bigger and stronger eight ways. So be sure to eat Wonder Bread. Get Wonder Bread fresh at your grocer's today. Now, vitamin bread was often advertised by huge celebrities like Superman and Howdy Doody. Um, so a lot of kids would often eat vitamin bread for lunch, for dinner, pretty much any time that they need a meal. It's packed in vitamin bread. Now, of course, vitamin bread does still exist today. It's sold by a few companies out there, but it's not necessarily a popular product anymore, and it's not something that we naturally reach for when we think of aiding our nutrition. Nowadays, we depend on multivitamins like the sponsor of our video today. Now the kind sponsor of this video is called Care Of. Care Of is a multivitamin company that customizes your vitamin regime based on your body and your needs. Now they make you take a little quiz where you pretty much say what you want to improve in your body, what problems that you have, what are your allergies. They pretty much customize it perfectly to suit your body. So this is what my daily vitamins look like. This is for one day, this is for another. So they come with your full pack and mine comes with 10 vitamins. It looks like that. And they also have really cool stuff like the Dream Team on the go sleep support. And this one is the extra batteries because I often run out of energy. 
Now Care Of is completely transparent. They do have vegan options. They have stuff based on certain allergies. So if you guys are interested, all you have to do is go onto the Care Of website. You have to take a five minute quiz on there. And of course, if you guys want 25% off, use my code, which I'll link all down below. So number four on the list is Frosted Ribbon Loaf. Now I know that sounds like a really good dessert, but it's not. So this is a meal that consists of ham, eggs, tomato, and wait for it, cake frosting. Um, but that is definitely a wild combination and I'm curious, was it good? Was it not? It just doesn't sound like it would be, but then again, sweet and salty, like that can work sometimes. So again, if you guys want me to try these meals in a different video, I might do it. I might do it. Now, number five on the shocking meals from the 1950s list is bologna cake. Now this one actually sounds pretty good though. This is a party appetizer that calls for bologna, cream cheese, onions, Worcestershire sauce, crackers, and spray can cheese as decor. Tell me that doesn't sound amazing. The name, the name puts you off, but the recipes put you on. You know what I'm saying? So that concludes the end of this video. If you guys want me to do more 1950s fun fact videos, make sure you comment down below. I love how I'm telling you to comment so many things down below, but I wanna know all these things. So if you guys want me to do more, make sure you comment down below and let me know. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a little thumbs up before you leave. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you guys want to see more vintage videos from me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.